Don't do that. Sit down. And it was my turn. Hello. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Come on. What's going on? We have to go uh, collect some money. So whatever happens, just shut up and stay out of the way. Okay. Let's go. You have the money? Huh? There you go. Thanks, man. Take it easy, eh? Yeah, thanks, man. See, See you next later. week. Yeah. See you guys. Of course everybody pays. What do you think? Breaking thumbs every day? I never thought of it that way. We never have any problems. Not really. <coughs> it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Things go really smooth most of the time. Yep. I think we missed the old days by about 40 years. So you got doubts. Some people say any doubt's reason enough not to get married. End of story. You're not sure? Don't do it. But now you got the strange problem that Angela's going back to church for whatever reason and religious chicks don't put out, and what's a guy to do? I don't want you guys to criticize Angela. That wouldn't be right. It's not about me against her. No. I mean, in marriage preparation class, we were taught that, that men and women are different. Not good and bad, not right and wrong, just different. Yes. Abort, 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 primary objective compromised. Come back, come back, tell her to come back, it's okay. Jeez. Pam? Yeah, yeah, it's okay, you can come back. No, yeah, you can come back. She's gonna come back. You know, I'm surprised, and, and I'm sad. I'm sad for you, really, I am. What's going on between you two? Nothing, we're just friends. Well, that's the whole problem, isn't it? At least if you were fucking her, okay, we'd be jealous as hell. But at least a good guy is getting his hammer tugged. I don't know what you're talking about. You know about. what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't have to explain it. Oh, no, you do. Why can't my boyfriend be more like you? You want to hear that again? Well, you need to be the surrogate boyfriend. Get a nice hug on your birthday. You want to spend the rest of your life being a nice guy for everybody's benefit but your own? It's one thing to say it was in the past and we were these accommodating, sensitive little fucking pussies and we didn't know any better. But now we do, don't we? Jesus fucking Christ, Rob, I don't have enough regrets about what a total wimp I was without seeing a friend keep making the same mistakes. It's nothing personal, Pam. We like you and everything. I'm not taking it personally. I mean, you can hang around if you want. We don't understand it. Just give us some time to get used to the idea. I will. I will, sir. We don't want to hear about any boyfriends or boyfriend troubles, okay? We don't even want to know them. We don't even want to meet him. It's cool with me. No birthday presents, no emotional support. We're just guys. It's fine. So we're cool. Boo! All right, now where were we? Ah, yes, marriage. Marriage is a failed institution. Now, I'm not a sociologist. I have no formal training. But I have eyes. And all I see around me is miserable married people. You know, the average murderer in this country serves only seven years of his sentence, and yet we're supposed to put 50 years in marriage? I think people get married more because they're surrendering to the dating world than anything else. They say married people live 10 years longer. Think about that. 10 extra years to drool in a wheelchair? That's a selling point? At some point, you have to stop thinking and take some action. You know, don't let life just happen to you. You know, there's this sameness to married people. I mean, you meet these people, and they're so proud of themselves. We have two kids, and we live in Mississauga. And I nod my head and say to myself, big fucking deal, you've told me nothing. Well, okay, that's a good start for today. Why don't we pick this up tomorrow?